Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today, I'm going to show you how to make an invisible object change the colors of platforms, enemies, and the background. Now, there's a lot going on, so let's get to it. Be sure to like and subscribe. I totally appreciate it. It helps me know that you enjoy this content and found it useful. Here I have this object. Within this object, there is a 3D model that doesn't exist. And so if you would like to have an outline, I've created this outline so that I can see the object in the game while I'm developing, but this object does not exist in the phone while I'm testing. If you would like to do something similar, grab a cube, let's move it up here, go into the cube, disconnect that, grab a new one, make it purple, and then there we go. And that is how you can have a similar outline object. Now let's get to the complicated stuff. Going into this object, I have an if collide with platform. This object is primarily affecting platforms. Here we can see I have random to random. These are just color schemes. This is all this is. This is a send node to make the character pink. This is a send node to the wall platform to make the wall platform blue. This is a set background color node to make the background colors blue. And this is a send pink enemy node to make the enemy pink. I've used contrast colors for both pink and blue. Down here, blue and pink. And then over here, green and purple and purple and green now what does this mean let's take a look every time we start the game all the platforms all the enemies and the characters change colors randomly pretty cool to see so we got blue blue and a pink background now we got a green character and green balls with the walls being purple purple character purple purple blocks it's important to just have a receive node. So here we can see I have it all listed out. Receive node, this is the character named appropriately as purple character, green character, pink character. And then these are just set color nodes, which you can just go to the action sidebar and grab the set color node. I also have the receive node in the wall. Here we go. And the wall is set up accordingly along with the platform object. They all have have the received pink enemy, blue enemy, received green enemy, received purple enemy, and then again these are set color nodes. This is a little bit complicated but a great way to utilize one world with multiple colors, ideally contrast colors, but use whatever is appropriate for your game style and gameplay. One world, multiple colors. So if you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if there are other things that you would like to see, leave a comment below. I read all my comments and try to answer them best I can. So until next time, keep making games, and I will see you later. Peace.